Oh God. Let's play some makeup and let's talk. It's been a while. I'm in this really cute tennis situation, dress, unitard, shorts underneath situation. It's really cute. I'm gonna link it here below for you. Also make sure you follow me on LCK and on Instagram and TikTok. I'll link all of it here for you. There's also a QR code. So if you're watching this on the television, you can scan it. You'll find everything there, but I'll link it also down below. I already soaked my sponge. This is from MCO Beauty or is it, or is it MCO Beauty? I don't know. But look at how the sponge is dry and look at how it is soaked. Such a huge difference. This is huge in the best way. So that's a good thing. It just feels extremely thick. I wish it wasn't as as thick but we're gonna see yeah like it just I like how big it is it just I like when I can press and it feels thin you feel what I'm saying less dense just my preference Bobbi Brown sent me three of their new, well, at least new to me, foundations. This is the Weightless Skin Foundation. It has broad spectrum SPF 15 in it, which by the way, if you're banking on this to protect your skin from sun damage, make sure you have on SPF underneath this, okay? Don't just say, oh, SPF 15 is gonna take care of me. No, SPF 15 by itself is not enough, okay? Put on your SPF before you put on your foundation. At Ulta, I see that there are 53 shades. I have the last three. It's supposed to be waterproof, medium coverage, natural matte finish, 24 hour moisture. Oh, what? 24 hour moisture moisture and all day oil control. Let's see what that's talking about because if it's gonna give me moisture but also retain my oils, how is that gonna happen? I've got a recent breakout, so my face feels dry, which is always what it feels like I have rosacea, okay? So that's a little background. So my face feels drier than normal. So when I'm speaking about this, that is the context through which I'm speaking. This is C116, which is cool espresso. And I will say that with a swatch, it doesn't tell the full story because once I blend it in, it could look a little different. Like, look at that, right? I could make this work, right? From the first swatch, you might've thought it was too light, but I feel like that's my shape. Shade. Hold on. <laughs> What do you think? Comment, let me know. That one has to be my shade because this next one is dork. This is W114 Warm Espresso. This looks like it could work on the perimeter of my, no, yeah, it's too dark. <laughs> Look at it in the viewfinder, no. Now, in the dead of the summer, even though it is August, was still, no, 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 that's too dark. Just so that you know, let's watch the next one. This is NC112, which is Neutral Cool Espresso. Beautiful shades for sure. I see a huge jump from this to this, but this one is certainly my shade, okay? I'm gonna use this Real Techniques 261 brush to apply this foundation. And I have to say, it feels so odd doing makeup. I'm not priming it with anything other than my skincare that I've done already, right? It feels so odd doing my makeup because it's been so long since I've done it. I've just been chilling. I've been I've been chilling even on the vacation we were on. I didn't do makeup at all, which is crazy. I mean, I brought my makeup, but I didn't use it. Okay, this shade matches me, but here's my issue. I normally go darker because if you can tell, not only is this red, which is not what I prefer, but it's not darker than my body, which is what I like because once I highlight and contour and do the whole thing, I'll be feeling like my face looks too light. I'm not gonna keep this shade. And then the next one that I had right after this is too dark. So already I just know off rip that this is not gonna be a foundation that I'm gonna use again. But here we are, so let's finish the face. All right, because the way that I highlight and contour, I need my base to be dark. That's just how I do my makeup. And you might be thinking, well, why not just change the colors of the highlight and the contour? Yeah, perhaps, but I've been using these shades for so long and I, I just know it can be a different brand, but the level of the highlight and the level of the contour, I just know what I like, you feel me? We're gonna bring it together because you know me, I'm gonna bring it together, but I know what I like. Now I've already filled in my edges using the Topic Fill Me In, love this, right? We'll be getting my edges all the way together and we are gonna go over the eyebrows because I like to do what? What I like to do with my own eyebrows. People just love to give unsolicited opinions online and it's irritating. I'm still gonna do what I wanna do. Okay, if you've been here a while, then you already know that. I'm gonna do what I wanna do all the time, every single time. I'm not gonna skip an opportunity to do what I wanna do. And I don't want you to do that either. I want you to take every opportunity that you have at your disposal to do whatever you wanna do. Okay, cause I'm going to. All right, so here we are. Over the brows, this is what they say. Medium coverage, yeah. I've gone over the brows several times and it's not covering it in its entirety and that's okay. This is a burn from when I straightened my hair some weeks ago. We're not gonna go to the hairline too much because we are gonna contour and it just is what it is. Okay, I think this looks pretty. I'm glad my skin has cleared up a little bit with the medicine because what? I was having a hard time there. Yeah, I mean, I do see it 
looking natural matte. I mean, what do you think? I tried this Fashion Fair concealer out some time ago and it's so interesting because Fashion Fair, if you're watching, hey. And I was like, are we still doing Fashion Fair? Like what, what's happening? And I remember that I liked it. It's just been a while since that video and now. So let's do it. This is the shade Tasty Cappuccino. This feels very rich, not very oily. It feels like this could have been in a pot where I would use my finger to apply it versus this wand. It feels very rich. I gotta remind myself, I don't know if this was full coverage or what. I, I mean, I will say using it again for the second time that I do like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of the sponge. Just get on my nerves. Okay. I do like when concealers wipe on more loosely. Feel me? Like it just has more of a slip when I wipe it on because I don't use cream potted concealers. If I were to, however, I use my finger. So what I'm trying to say is I just wish that because it's a wand, it would just go on. It would glide more smoothly than being so rich. It's blending nicely. This is not very light. Now, if my foundation were darker, this would look lighter. And as we're well, not really. We're not shifting to the winter months quite yet, but once we start getting there, remember, change your foundation. Your skin tone gonna go back to where it was in the winter time last year. It's not gonna be as dark as it may be right now in the summertime. So make sure you have your different foundations ready, okay? I'm gonna brighten this up some more with this Say Concealer. This is a slip tint in the shade 17. Now, this is looking more pink than I recall it being. Huh. Again, it's been a while since I've done makeup, so <laughs> I could just have forgotten. Okay, I contoured using my old faithful, my old usual LYS stick contour. They call it a bronze tool, which I think is really cute because you can bronze and contour with it. For me, it's more of a contour. And I blended that in using, I love this brush. This is from Mario, right? Mario? Mm -hmm. Mario, this is the F4 brush, which is so good. It fits right up in here so well. So there's that. Then I took a little bit of this One Size Patrick style. This is a translucent powder. A little bit of that to go right immediately under here. Now. If you have fine lines because you're aging like fine wine, honey, I don't have a way to make sure that this is not showing your makeup. The only way that I can conceal it is by doing a brown smoky eye or any smoky eye because the eyeshadow will go and cover this whole area. You'll see, because we're gonna do it today, I do that every makeup look because when I leave it alone and finish my face, you're gonna see fine lines and that's natural. You feel what I'm saying? Unless you do some kind of cosmetic process, which I'm not familiar with at all. All right, this is a Sephora 55 brush. We're gonna take a little bit of this dust off the excess and I wanna go over the brows and over the eyelid just to take away any oil that might be there. Using the Huda Glowish Medium Tan setting powder that I love to use. This And then this cute brush from NARS. This is just the cutest thing. Let's talk, cause I just wanna know for the older siblings out there like me, who are our older siblings? You feel what I'm saying? Who do we go to when we need to be picked up? Who do we call when we need advice. Who's taking care of us? You feel what I'm saying? I saw this one TikTok, which I thought was so funny. And the guy was essentially alluding to the fact that if you date or try to be with a woman who is an older sibling, <laughs> be ready because she's like a man. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? She don't need you. She don't She don't need you. She might want you. You feel me? And she knows how to make her own money. She knows how to get stuff done. She's strong. She's been through a lot. She's had to take the weight of so much in her family growing up. We're going to blend all this. Don't worry. That when you come around, you can't be acting stupid. You feel what I'm saying? And that is just so free freaking true and it made me think yo who do we lean on I mean thank god I have that I'm in therapy and I've been in therapy for a long time now if you're new then that's just something that I've just been doing watch my videos catch up there's so many in different topics but I'm just like dang who who the hell do I call you know what I'm saying I get the phone calls I'm the listener and the helper and all of that which I I enjoy doing I mean I've I mean, I had no choice to do actually in the very beginning from being a child. And dang, actually, you don't think about that. Do I enjoy doing it or do I do it by default? Cause I've always done it. Ooh, if you're an old, if you are an older child, older sibling, comment down below and let me know what your answer to that is. Do I enjoy doing it? Or am I just used to doing it so that I think I enjoy doing it? I enjoy doing it, but if I didn't have to, would I want to do it? I gotta think about that. I gotta think about that. This is a Lawless Perfecting Powder. It's talc-free, skin smoothing. The shade is tan deep. And it just makes me think and, and reflect on the fact that I tend to and do find solace in being a loner. And that's because my personality and perhaps the way that I was socialized, I just, after having to do so much and just bear the weight of so much in my mind, after after that, it's just like, I don't wanna think about anything else. I don't wanna do anything else. And I don't wanna be around anybody else. I'd rather be alone, leave me alone. Like allow me to breathe, you feel what I'm saying? I just get over spunt, that is not a word. But you get what I'm saying when I say, 
just just leave me alone. So it leads to isolation, which for the most part I do enjoy. I like to be alone. I don't carry around a lot of people, friends. I just keep it just very me, to be honest. I, I really do. Not a lot of people are close to me and that's by my own doing because I don't like that. I like to be alone. I like to be to myself. I don't like to have big groups. I mean, I have acquaintances, obviously. This is the Elf Cosmetics Powder Foundation. The shade is Rich 660N. This needs to bring more I have more contour into my face and just fix this up a little bit. But it, it already looks, just looks odd to me because number one, my face looks drier than normal, which I'm sure is a function of the foundation being this, what, natural matte situation. But then the shade, the shade is killing me. The shade's killing me. But yeah, I already, I already just like to function on my own. I don't like big groups, just lots of stuff, lots of people. People, lots of talking, it's just not my thing, you feel me? And then secondly, do I have a trust issue with friends? I wouldn't call it a trust issue. I'm processing out loud. I wouldn't call it a trust issue. It's more of a comfort. Where do I feel most comfortable? Mm -hmm. Around a few people. And of course, with more substantive, substantive conversations. I don't enjoy fluff. I don't enjoy foolishness. I like to have fun. <laughs> I like to have fun out loud. I don't enjoy fluff, fillers, just, people and things just because. I enjoy substantive relationships, conversation things. You get what I'm saying? So that also has something to do with the fact that I keep it, I just keep it small and I keep it tight. Does that lead to isolation? It does because there are times where I'll be like, It'd be nice if this is this, that, that, that. Like I've never had a birthday party thrown for me. Can you imagine? I remember my sister set up a birthday dinner that I walked into and I was so pleased. Uh, birthday dinner, two. And that I was so pleased and it, it just warmed my heart so much. I loved it, right? This was years ago. I mean, I was a teenager, okay. Was I a teenager? Yeah, I was, in, I was in college. I was young, okay. But in my adult years, I have never had something like that done. And I will say that I'll be thinking to myself, man, that'd be so cute. You know, that'd be so cute if, uh, it, not just cute because I'm not thinking of, of aesthetics all the time, but that'd be so nice. It'd be so heartwarming. It'd be, it'd be so touching to be surprised by or to be just to go on a big group trip for any reason. Like it'd just be a nice thing. You feel what I'm saying? So I do have desires for that. And of course that would require knowing lots of people intimately because I would never want to do that with just acquaintances. Depends on the occasion for sure. Like if it's a very serious, heartfelt occasion, no, I don't want to be there with acquaintances. I want to be there with people that really know me, like know me deeply, you feel what I'm saying? So the isolation doesn't really lean for that to happen because if I'm more isolated than I am available, how's it going to happen? You feel me? <laughs> I'm thinking out loud, you know, I be wanting to come out of the shell a little bit sometimes, but then I be turned off. So it's just, it's just a whole thing, you feel me? Let's go to Old Faithful. We're gonna go to Old Faithful. This is Rare Beauty. Highlight in the shade Flaunt, liquid, liquid luminizer, mm-hmm, that one. So yeah, I mean, the isolation does get dry and boring after a while because I be like, man, it would be nice if, it'd be nice if. But then I always retreat back to where I feel most comfortable, which is by myself. Oh, yo, you can tell I have not filmed in a long time and I also, so just am chatting away too much because I forgot to do my face powder. What? I need to do face powder. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth and the shade Espresso. This is a step that I like to do to bring it all together. And I call it a face powder, although you can use this powder for whatever reason you, you want. I use this to tie in the whole look. Yeah, my face is dry. I do not like how dry my face is. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it with this e.l.f. Watch, just hold on. Because I'm not into how dry it looks or feels. And can you imagine when I was in the office, I used to stay with a matte face like this. I mean, I stayed with it. I loved it. I lived for it. But this was, <laughs> What? Ages ago, it feels like ages ago. Ooh, hi. This brush is from Complex Culture. I get questions about it. It's an old brush and it's a really nice one. I don't even think Complex Culture even exists any longer. The medium coverage is not really floating my boat because I can see my blemishes right here and that is annoying to me. I hope I don't see it through my blush, but if I do, that's gonna annoy me because if you're here, be here. Now I'm gonna do the whole flaunt situation, okay? But come and let me know where you stand. Are you one that is used to, enjoys keeping around a large group of girlfriends? And if so, are these girlfriends with whom you are very close? Is there a mix of close and casual? What is the deal? I, I just, I mean, obviously, life changes from different, with different ages, right? Like when I was younger, did I have a lot of friends? Yeah, I mean, I would say I did. But I mean, as you get older, as I got older, like what? My desires and my, my circumstances have changed. So that all plays a part in it. Look how beautiful this is. Champagne almost, gold almost mixed. 
cheeks, almost whatever. <laughs> just all the things, okay? And these nails, by the way, on my LTK, I've done them. I've shown you how I do these several times. They're press on nails that I glue on. And I actually ended up using the Builder Gel again this time. It's been a minute since I've done Builder Gel because it used to peel and get on my nerves. But then the other day I was like, it's been a while. Let me try this whole Builder Gel thing and see if it if it acts right. And now it's been two days <laughs> and so far so good. So let's see how she let's see how she's gonna hold herself together. Okay, praise the Lord. Let's get some dewiness on the face before doing my blush because this is looking crazy. We're gonna do Elf Power Grip Dewy situation. Okay, again, all links below. You can use this QR code here to access it if you're watching on TV, and then use your your phone to scan it like a photo. Mm -hmm. You'll get the link to my LTK or look in the description box down below. So let me just test it to see what's gonna be like. Get my fan together. That's important. And don't squeeze the face. Okay. Whew. Taking my breath away. I'm gonna try a new blush out today. It's a pink blush. I'm telling you, I used to love pink blushes and just for the past several years, I'm not into pink anymore, but I wanna try this one out. This is Lawless. Pinch My Cheek Soft Blur Cream Blush Cherry. The shade is Cherry Pie, excuse me. And I'm taking a lot of this product. Let's see. Ooh, it's very soft. Hold on. All right, it did say soft. Oh no, I can see it. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, you can see it. <laughs> It did say soft blur, hold on, let's go back up here. I just, I used to love pink and I still do love pink, but you know what I mean? <sighs> medium, medium coverage foundations just like annoy me because if I have blemishes, they're not gonna be covered. And I had a concealer here that I put that matches my skin tone that I said, I'm gonna use this whenever a foundation is not full coverage, but I wanted to wear this one by itself so that you can see. Now, if you don't have blemishes like I do, then you'll likely enjoy this because you're not gonna be worried about something showing even though you have foundation on, you feel me? Now, how does the face look after I did the spray, the e.l.f. dewy situation spray? You know, I get to come puzzle with these words, but you know the spray that I showed you, how does it look? It looks. To me, a lot more delectable. You feel what I'm saying? It just looks a lot more like, okay, she's not parched. She looks healthy. Even the highlight under my eyes was looking dry. It looks the way I like it to look, you know? Bronzy. <laughs> Same brush where I had the powder for under my eye. I'm just gonna do this to reinforce the under eye setting powder. And then the same brush, no new product, just old product that I used for the contour powder, which is a powder foundation. Gonna go over this to reinforce it as well. And this is just to make sure that it's blended in with the contour. Even here, I can see a blemish. I can see a blemish right here. I don't like that. I don't like that! If you tried this foundation, you gotta comment and let me know. I'm using this Koki Cosmetics brow pencil. The shade is black, which I love because it's more of a soft black. And I'm doing my brows the way that I always do them because again, it's my prerogative, my face. I do what I wanna do and you should always do what you wanna do, okay? Because I'm gonna do that all the time. And I'm doing some upward strokes here. We're gonna clean it up just on the bottom, not the top, you feel what I'm saying? And you can barely see the part where you where my microblading is, which I have to do all over again. I, The lady I used to go to in San Antonio is nowhere to be found. I don't know where she is. I'm not a lefty, I almost went like this. No, I gotta go like this. There's just no way that I can do it. So yeah, I need to find somebody else to do my microblading all over again, cause I'm ready. I'm ready to get them filled in again. I use this previous place, the coffee shop palette to fill in my crease. You know how I do, I do a reddish brown first and then a dark brown. And then like I said, to conceal at least the best I can, the lines under my eyes. I do a smoky under eye. I'm not done yet, because we still need to do black liner and then smudge that and then mascara, and then it won't be as obvious. And then for the eyelid, I use the Amicole Lid Joy Liquid. This is a matte eyeshadow, it's a yellow. This part came on with more product than this side. And then it's creasing, which is like, ugh. It's been a while since I've used this. The last time I did it, I may have used more product, which may have helped it not to crease as much, but we're, we're zoomed in and we can see a little bit of creasing, but it might be user error. Either way, I think this is pretty. And we're gonna do eyeliner. This is a Rare Beauty one. This is the Perfect Strokes Long Wear Gel Eyeliner. I love a good gel eyeliner. Who is sharpening eyeliners these days? Not me, because can you imagine in 2024, I'm not doing that. Okay. Hey, I'm not gonna do it. And I like a good smudge. Oh my gosh, a video that I did. I did this video a while back when I had braids, but I posted it recently. And it's of me teaching y'all how I do my smudged eyeliner on top. It's going a little viral right now. And the comments are just out of this world. And I did find myself responding to some, and now I just stopped because it's just too much. It's too much energy required. And there are a lot of people that are new, 
not even subscribed. We don't know where they came from and they like to give unsolicited advice and I'm just not gonna entertain it. I'm gonna do what I say already. This is the third time. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. You feel me? And you should do that too. You really should do what you wanna do. So if the way that I do my makeup, I always say this, but I feel like I just have to say it again, is not your cup of tea. That is okay. That is the greatness of the world that we live in. Everyone can do whatever the hell they wanna do, you know? So let's smudge this out right here. Nice black liner. And this liner brush, this is an elf eyebrow blush. I, wow, eyebrow, I'm so annoyed. Eyebrow blush from e.l.f., okay? And then we gonna just use it, the liner part, to smudge. The other side has this, what you call it? Spoolie. Mm-hmm, praise the Lord, it's got a spoolie. And we're gonna do, oh, look, I have eyeshadow on my lashes. So my lashes were blending in. Oh my God, I thought I had no lashes over here. <laughs> that is so crazy. Okay, now let's do our smudge, which I was doing in that video. We're not trying to get this perfect. We're just trying to get it on. We just want it to be there. And really, you're seeing yellow on my lashes, which makes it look crazy. But we're gonna put mascara and a lash on, so we're not gonna see all of that. Now, because this is yellow, this liner is looking a little, I don't know if it's looking gray or if it's looking green. I really don't know, but that's okay. I'm taking this color right here, which when I looked at it, I didn't think it was gonna be bright enough, but it actually is a nice silver frosty situation and it's playing with the yellow and then the gold jewelry that I have on. I like for it to show. If I had done a yellow gold, it would blend too much in with the yellow and that's how I determine what shades to be using. You feel me? So I like how this pop right here, and this is a very affordable eyeshadow palette. It's been a while since I've used UV's Place. JP, they know what they're doing. The pigment is always on point. Definitely a great brand to use if you are looking to restock on any makeup items in your kit, okay? All links are below. For mascara, I'm gonna use this Estee Lauder. What is it called? It's not written on, okay, it is. <laughs> Turbo Lash, I'm annoyed, it is written down. Girl, it's written down right there. Turbo Lash mascara, we're gonna go under, and then I go on top a little, because you know my lashes that I like to use are very bold, so I don't need to be twirling and all of that, but if you're not gonna put a lash on top, then definitely do all of that. Now with this one in particular though, it is a Turbo Lash. It is very voluminous, it is very thick, voluminous. I just said the same thing twice. So if you're gonna do the twirl like that, prepare for a lot of product to be on the lashes. But I find by just doing this underneath with my lashes, I get so much so much product out and I even made a little mistake right there. I'm so annoyed. Ooh, that's how long. I mean, the fibers added to my lashes are and then my lashes, my lashes by themselves, I guess I just amazing. Like what? Look at that. I could stop right here, but no, I don't want to. My lashes have grown legs. Yes, they have. These are lashes that I always wear linked here in the QR code and also down below. Again, these are the ones that I love to wear and I'm gonna continue to do what? Just that. And I use the same mascara on the bottom lashes. They look nice and froggy and long and thick. Just the way I like them, girl. So I'm gonna use this new liner that I found recently that I love. It does need to be sharpened, which I can't stand, but you know, we, we, gonna, we gonna give Elf a pass. This is the Elf Creamy Glide or Cream Glide lip liner. The shade is, it's not even on here. Anyway, it's this dark brown color. I'm annoyed. <laughs> It's really cute though. It's like a burgundy. It's a warm brown. For the price, this is great. Oh, and for lipstick, I'm gonna do MAC Cosmetics Kinda Sexy. Ooh, I've worn this what once? Is it pink? Oh, it is pink, okay. I need to do orange. I have not worn an orange lip in so long. The one I love was a Fenty one that's discontinued. So um, it's like one word and I, I got rid of it when I was doing my makeup declutter. So I need to find a good orange lipstick. If you have one, let me know. Not a, well, maybe like what I have on, but Maybe not. Like a, oh, it was the Fenty Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle lipsticks. I had a shade in there that I, I had two shades that I loved. Something like this, I guess. Not, not a hot orange. Not an orange like that. More like this, maybe? Anyway, if you have any orange that you love, you gotta comment and let me know, because I wanna try it out. Got a nice light pink going. I don't know that the yellow and light pink are matching. Mm. But here we are. <laughs> Should we do a gloss? We have a lawless, plump and smooth and nourishing. It don't be, it don't be burning, thank God. I can't stand burning lip glosses. This is the shade Candy. I thought it was a Candy, I'm so annoyed. Candy Sky, okay, let's do this. This one, this one is Frosty the Snowman. Let's see how she gonna look. Oh God. Oh, well, oh, wait, it's pretty. Okay, I'm a little nervous. Mm, it's pretty, it, it goes well with my inner eye because it's also frosty. Oh. Um, Okay, I stuck right to the middle because I didn't know what she was gonna do. Let me take a little bit to the corners. Took a little to the corners. This is pretty. If you have deep dark skin like me, go easy with it. But this is a beautiful color. It's more in the icy diamond silver realm, but in, in such a nice way. Just a little bit, a little bit of do ya, okay? All right, here's the finished look. Comment below, let me know what you think.
give it a thumbs up and follow me on all socials. Subscribe here as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.